Hey love, welcome back to another video. It's Vazi, and in today's I'm going to be sharing with you all my baby girl's wash day routine. We're going to transform her from this to this beautifulness. Love this for her. Different life, deep connection, lights a spark. It's like you know me in the depths of my heart. We're dreamers. So the first thing we're going to do is take down her braids and what I like to do when taking down her braids is a pre poo method because her hair does get really really dry in the process of her having her braids. I'm going to moisturize it just to give it you know some life and prepare it to be detangled. When you do do it this way it prevents a lot of breakage and you see a lot more growth. So to do that as you saw I sprayed her hair with some warm water and then I am going in with some leave-in conditioner but then I'm eventually going to be applying oil to it as well because once I detangle it the hair still needs a little bit more um, moisturization so we're going to seal what we've put on it once we take the braid down detangle it we'll apply some oil comb it out and twist it up I literally do this same thing every wash day Now that I have everything detangled, I'm going to go in with Mayel's Rosemary Mint Strengthening Shampoo. And then I am going to go in with their Pomegranate and Honey Moisturizing and Detangling Conditioner. So I'm going to first start by rinsing her hair with some warm water and taking down the twist that I did plait her hair in. And y'all, forgive the shakiness, Maya had the camera at this point and, you know, we working on her being still with it. But anywho... So once I get it all taken down, I'm going to go ahead and go in and give her a nice little scalp scrub with the mint shampoo. You guys, I love this for her hair. I believe this is probably one of the main things that has helped her hair grow drastically because of the mint. This and the almond mint oil that I showed you guys before. Because mint does, you know, stimulate hair growth. And it's just done wonders for my girl. So I use these products every wash day on, on Lil Sis, okay? And I have not switched up yet. Like, I just, I, I, I don't have the courage. All right, now we are done washing. We've rinsed and conditioned. She actually deep conditioned for a little while. I didn't put that on camera, but she did do that. We rinsed that out, and now I am applying some water and leave-in conditioner for her hair. So we can go ahead and start styling. It's time to go. I also just added some more of the almond mint oil as you just saw and I'm just going in and I'm taking sections of her hair and detangling it and I'm gonna do the same method that I did before by detangling each section and then twisting it down this helps keep her hair from being so tangled once we do start to do anything to it pretty much but especially before we start styling it so as you saw I went through it first with the pick which has wider teeth in it and then I go through a second time using that um, orange comb that has smaller teeth on it just so we can make sure you know all of the kinks and knots are completely out and we have a smooth transition into styling
now that I have her all twisted up once again, I am going to go in with the mint oil and I'm going to oil her scalp just so we can make sure you know we got some good scalp help going on here. And then we are going to take the twist down from the back going towards the top and start styling. Now once I start to style her braids, I apply the last layer of products to her hair and that is a creamier or a thicker substance just to seal in every bit of that moisture that we just used. And today we are going to be using Mayo's Pomegranate and Honey Twist and Souffle to do just that. I really love this Twist and Souffle. It locks in a lot of moisture into her 4C hair. So, you know, once it's braided down... It doesn't lose that moisture for a long time. Since she does leave her braids in for about two weeks or so, that's like the best thing, okay? Whenever you're braiding 4C hair, you want to make sure you are locking in as much moisture as possible so that those braids are holding moisture for a long period of time. Now, using this cream, it does leave a lot of cream once you're done braiding as you see here but it's not a problem this is going to absorb so quick you guys I swear it's not even going to be white by the time I get done with the next braid as you can see the braid to the left isn't as white as that braid was and I swear it was moisturized the exact same way so I'm literally going to do that to her entire head same moisture lock-in method braid it up and then we're just going to make her really stinking cute Is it pretty? Yeah. You know, it's weird. Some beads. Yeah, you want beads? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Let's do it. <laughs> So that is pretty much it for this video you guys. If you got any value out of this video, please be sure to give it a big thumbs up. Make sure you smash that subscribe button, cut on your bell notifications, join the family because we are on the road to 700 subscribers and I would love to have you here. But until next time, remember to love yourself wholeheartedly, radiate with positivity, and vibrate at your highest frequency. We out babe. Much love.